Hello everyone, I'm your chemistry teacher, Mrs. C. Williams Massey, and uh, today we will be learning how to light the Bunsen burner properly. In front of me are two different types of Bunsen burners. This is the more common one that is used in the lab. So with this Bunsen burner, we have a base and we have a barrel. At the bottom of the barrel, you will have uh, two air holes. To open and close the air hole, we simply unscrew or screw up the collar. But this is the more commonly used bun burner in our lab. So again, we have the base, then we have the barrel, and inside of the barrel, you'll see the gas inlet right there. So this barb now is where you connect the gas hose so that it allows gas to flow into the barrel. I'm now going to attach the gas hose securely to the Bunsen burner. We have to ensure that it's securely attached because we do not want any gas leaks. I'm now going to connect it to the outlet. So again, we securely attach it. Just before I light the Bunsen burner, I do not want my braids to catch on fire. So of course, I'm going to catch it away from my face and the flame. If you have long hair, normally you're supposed to bound it in the lab. So we'll light the Bunsen burner. I'm using a match and I'm going to ensure that the air hole is closed. Why the air hole must be closed? You do not want the gas that you're trying to get up the barrel to light up here, escaping through these open holes. So you have to close the air holes now by turning the color. When you strike the match, hold it to the side and you gently turn on the, the gas. And move this one out of the way. That's a danger. So I'm opening the air hole you'll see now that the flame changed color. Before, it wasn't getting enough oxygen, so it's orange. Now it's getting oxygen, it's now blue. I'm going to adjust the flame. The blue parts of the flame are, of course, the hottest parts of the flame. You have to um, equate the color that you're seeing to the color of the light in the electromagnetic spectrum. So blue light will have far more energy than the orange light. You'll see two cones in this flame, the inner cone and the outer cone. At the tip of the inner cone, this is the hottest part of the flame. The temperatures there can reach 1,100 degrees Celsius and even more. So this is a portion now that you'll want to heat whatever you're heating or sterilize what you're sterilizing in the lab. We use the Bunsen burner for heating purposes, combustion purposes, and sterilization purposes. Now that I've shown you how to correctly light the Bunsen burner, I want you now to pause, like, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And we're now going to extinguish the flame because we no longer need it. So once you're not using the Bunsen burner in the lab, you have to turn off the flame. Otherwise, it's a danger in the lab. So I'm just simply going to turn it off and I turn off the Bunsen burner by putting the lever here at a right angle to the outlet. So now we've learned how to properly use the Bunsen burner. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.